what is it that you like about science? Oh, it's a game. It's a game. What you do is you watch something in nature. It's all around there. It's mean things to watch. And then you notice something. And you think, why is that? You know, like, why do uh, these flowers live in mud? Or it's not one of the things I'm working on. I'm working on, do they bloom a second time? Uh, <laughs> Anyway, it's most fun when you notice something that you don't understand. And then you notice, maybe six months later, something that might explain it. And then you work at getting the data, enough information about these two things to see if they're related. And when they are, and it's something new that nobody else has, or very few people uh, have started to look at. When it's something new, it's a great feeling. It's really wonderful. Wow! It worked! <laughs> but it's just pleasure. And it has an advantage for women, which is not much looked at. You know, when I was a teenager, the only thing a woman could be was a grammar school teacher, a first grade or kindergarten, a secretary typing uh, somebody's letters for them, a uh, I don't know what else. There was nothing that was exciting and pleasant for women available. And so that's one of the major reasons I, and none of them made any money, nothing to bring a family up on. But people had accidents. Like my father died when I was young. And in order to support a family, I would need somewhere to make a living. So that, besides it's much more fun, is why I went into science. And it was a very good idea. I don't know how I would have managed with that. So when people tell young women that no, they can't do this or no, they can't do that. It's terrible because it's making them cripples. You know, they, they think they would like to do something. No, you can't. And the thing always is, 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 is a high level thing. Nobody really wants to scrub floors or <laughs> it's not the pressure of cleaning things up. I've never heard of that. <laughs>